is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome back to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits, guys. First, I want to apologize for the inconsistency of the show. Uh, two announcements. One, I, I, I've been super sick the last few days, which is why you haven't been getting two shows a day. I'm trying to get over this, trying to get through this. Um, and then next week, I'm going to be out of town, um, assuming I'm feeling better. Um, I'm going to be out of town. Uh, so I'm not going to bring any shows next week, uh, taking my kid to a doctor's appointment. Um, so I'm not going to, out of town, out of state. Um, so I'm not going to be uh, around to do a show, any shows next week. So um, Saturday, Sunday, I'll try to do one Monday, and then that's going to be it. I'll be back the following week. Um, but a lot to get into today. Um Again, I'm going to try to come back two shows a day once once I'm feeling 100%. Uh, but let's get started on today's show. Uh, but first, like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits, when I'm healthy, comes at you twice a day. Uh, twice a day, it's 8 to 10 minutes, keeps you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Keeps you totally up to date uh, and afloat on the world of boxing. Uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, hit the bell icon, hit thumbs up, all that good stuff they tell you to do. Um... Let's get right into it. Sarissa uh, Katsura Rungvisai scores a dominant, dominant third round stop. It's victory. They stopped the fight at the third round. Um, Rungvisai looked really, really good. Um, now, the opponent was 38. He is a former world title challenger. Uh, you know, a veteran who's been in there. He was 38, and he looked very slow. Uh, but Rungvisai looked sharp, man. He looked good. Uh, the punches were, were, were compact. Powerful, accurate, everything was landing on the button. There were angles again. He was, and look, no performance is perfect. So I'm always going to find something to criticize in every performance. There's always something you can do better. He is stationary. He doesn't move his head much. You know, he, he and he was getting hit more than you like, right? Like he still just picks off shots and then waits for you to be finished throwing and then he throws. Um, you know, it's worked. It's worked against everyone recently except for Estrada. Um, it's worked against Chocolatito twice, so I'm not knocking it. Uh, I'm just saying that that's something he can improve on, and it was noticeable today. He was getting hit, although he did dominate the entire fight. Offensively, he looked explosive and, and sensational and powerful and strong. I mean, he is such a physical force on the inside. He can just move you where he wants to put you, um, and that's going to be tough. Um, th th offensively, this performance was a 10 out of 10. Five stars, right? Defensively, there's still ways to go, but that's wrong. Beside. He blocks shots, and then he throws back, right? Uh, he hits you harder than you hit him. He hits you more accurately. He pushes you around. He's stronger than you and a bigger hitter than you. The calves on this guy, it looks like he's got basketball on his calves. He's just so strong and powerful. Um, they said it, all systems are a go that he is fighting for certain the winner of tomorrow's fight in Dallas, Texas between Chocolatito and Estrada. Uh, that is happening for sure. Um, that's absolutely, they said that's a go. So they said this was basically a stay busy fight, a tune-up fight, a one fight, and it looked good. Um, he, again, he is 3-1 and one against uh, Estrada and Chocolatito, right? He's 2-0 and oh against Chocolatito, 1-1 one one against Estrada. Um, if he wins that fight, he has a claim. To be the best little man of this era. If he wins, he'll be 4-1 and one against those two guys. Right? I, I, whoever wins. Um, if he, if Chocolatito wins, he's 1-1 one one against uh, Estrada and 3-0 and all against Chocolatito. Um, if um, Estrada wins, he's 2-1, and one, wins the series with Estrada. And he's 2-0 and all against Chocolatito, won the series against Chocolatito. So... He's kind of the sleeper. He's kind of the darling. When you say, when we look back at this, when we look back at legacy, and we say, who is the best little man of this era? Um, Rung Versailles, should he win? And he has to win. If he loses, it goes out the window. Um, if he loses, 
if he wins, he's got to claim as, as the best little man of the year. And that goes, he's a Hall of Famer. Ryan Gosai is a Hall of Famer. He's got a Hall of Fame resume at this point, and I stand by that. I think all three of them get in the Hall of Fame, right? But it's like LeBron James got into the Hall of Fame. Chris Mullen, get, uh, we'll, we'll get into the Hall of Fame. Chris Mullen's in the Hall of Fame. Who's got a better legacy, right? Obviously, LeBron James does, although Chris Mullen's a great player, right? So who's going to be the LeBron James of the little men of this era, right? Like, who's the best little man? Rugby I believe, is one win away from claiming that, claiming that, right? Like, the leader in the clubhouse is going to be whoever wins between Chocolatito and Estrada. That guy becomes the leader in the clubhouse. Let's say it's Chocolatito. If Estrada beats him, I mean, if Rugby beats him in the trilogy match, he's up 3-0. And he split with um, Estrada when Chocolatito's beat Estrada twice, right? So, I mean, he's got the legacy. Um, so Ron looks back. I, he did not look good against uh, his last fight. He didn't look good against Estrada, really, in the first half. He kind of came on in the second half of the fight, but it was too little, too late kind of thing. Um, but he's in this fight. Like, he, he's back. Um, he looked good. Uh, he's going to be a force again. He looked good at 115. He didn't look weight drained. He looked strong. He looked powerful. He looked accurate. He looked really, really good. He looked like the, the sore Ron of old. Uh, he looked like the one that beat Estrada and beat um, uh, Chocolatito twice. So I, I think all systems are a go. And after Chocolatito and Estrada fight, we're going to get, which is going to be an epic fight, we're going to get another epic fight in, in, the, in the near future, in 2021, between Sorong Masai and the winner, whoever that may be. And that really is a 50-50 fight. I am picking Chocolatito, uh, but that's a 50-50 fight. Um, let me know what you guys think. Did you watch the fight? What did you think of his performance? Do you think he's back? Like, I think he's back. Do you think he's going to be a problem for the winner of this fight? Or do you think he's washed? Do you think he's just too old? Um, let me know what you think. Um, follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, like and subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Guys, real. I'm not feeling well. Um, I'm going to get some sleep after this, uh, but please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Black, hit the bell icon, uh, like and subscribe, share with a friend. Uh, it is March 12th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in. Uh, let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.